Hello! Jacob here again. Today, bring you a look at Rhyme. So, Rhyme is a game which uh, has recently come out on Steam. It is currently uh, £29.99. Uh, it's actually $30 in the United States. Uh, well, it's $29.99. So, the uh, UK is getting a little bit screwed down the price, which is a little bit irritating. This is a puzzle adventure game, I guess you could uh, would probably be the best way to describe it. It is developed by a studio that um, studio that goes by the name of uh, Tequila Works. Now, Tequila Works released a game several years ago that goes um, by the name of Dead Light, which was a kind of zombie. Well, it was a zombie game. I've not actually played Dead Light. I have got it, but uh, that game kind of came out a few years ago, and it kind of got a little bit of a kind of mixed reception. Then they this game kind of came along. It's been in development for a while, actually, this one. Um, and this game kind of got quite a bit of attention because the... Uh, mostly just because of the quite um, striking visuals that this game has, I suppose. So this game's been kind of fairly hotly anticipated, I suppose, to a certain degree. And it is uh, finally out. So I've played the... Um, I've played about an hour and a half of the game, I suppose. Played through the opening section and a little bit more. Just to kind of get a feel of the game, and I think I've got a pretty good um, feeling of how I feel about this game. So we're going to continue and um, play a little bit more of it, and I'm going to give some impressions of it. So yeah, let's uh, continue. The loading times here take a little while to get through, but luckily there aren't too many of them. Okay, so here we are after that. Um, lengthy loading screen. I probably edited it out so you probably didn't see it. Yeah, so this is Rhyme. We are playing as this uh, young boy here. Now, currently being um, hounded by a kind of um, weird kind of bird monster at the moment, so I think we're going to have to run across here over to this shelter here, I think. Yeah, because uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's not very happy with us, that bird. Um, it's not really, but it's kind of weird. We'll, hopefully, we'll get a chance to see it in a second. But uh, yeah, so this game kind of starts off with us um, being washed up on this on this island that we're currently on on a uh, on a beach. We've kind of very little explanation of uh, who we are or why we're here. All right, I think we just need to go in here. I think so. I think we've made it across. I need a key to get in here. So I guess uh, we're going back out. I guess. So you wash up on this beach, and then uh, shortly after washing up on the beach, you... Uh, I guess you're heading over to that windmill, I guess. So the game doesn't actually give you... Uh, doesn't actually tell you where to go. It kind of more kind of subtly hints of, uh, of the kind of direction you need to go. But usually it's not too difficult to figure out where you need to go. Yeah, shortly after we after the game starts, you solve a few little puzzles, and then you get a little fox companion who kind of guides you. If you get lost, usually the fox will kind of tell you where to go, or give you an idea where to go. I think we need to go over here, I think. Oh, going underground now. So yeah, then, uh, so yeah, we get the fox, and then, um... Basically, we're trying to get to the top of... Actually, let's go back outside if we can. Ah, uh, it's actually... I don't think we can go back outside now. But so uh, we're trying to get to the top of a large tower in the centre of the island. There's kind of a large tower in the middle. And that seems to be the main objective of the game, is to basically get to the top of it. So we can actually shout as well. So the game actually has a very basic control scheme. Playing with the Xbox controller here, we can uh, you press A to jump, you can press B to kind of do a roll, and you can press Y to shout, which we use to interact with objects in the world. And then we can press the X button, which also lets us kind of interact with certain objects. Usually, it usually lets you grab an object and kind of push it or pick up an object in the world. So uh, let's see what we have to do here. It's here. It's just going to keep shouting at this thing. Ah, I think it's moving based on where we stood, I think. Ah, there we go, okay. So we go for this door here. So I guess the first thing I will... Uh, ah, here's the key. So it didn't take too long to find, at least. Or a key, at least. So you press X here and you can pick up the key. So I guess we'll talk a little bit about... Ah, so sometimes you come across these doors and you just have to shout next to the statue to open the door. And yeah, sometimes there'll be a, like a puzzle where you know the uh, you kind of have to get into the right amount of range in order to open the door. 
because there was the little thing the, the shout won't actually reach where you need to go to get through the door it's like so if we stand too far away the shout only has a certain amount of range so if we stand back here and we shout the little stat or we can't actually shout now but if we shout here the little statue would be able to hear us so there are puzzles a lot of the puzzles are kind of based on that all right let's just go through here so yeah i guess that we'll talk a little bit about how the game looks i suppose to start with because um, you kind of can't really avoid talking about the game's visuals because uh, it's kind of the well as you can see the game is you know the game looks really really good and there's no really denying how good this game looks that was uh, right over here I hope we didn't get attacked by that bird that's chasing us down so the game runs on the Unreal Engine I'm not sure which version in particular, I mean, I'd guess. I mean, you'd think it'd be Unreal Engine 4, obviously, because that's the uh, the newest, latest version. But I'm not actually sure. I and mean, this game's been in development for such a long time that it could actually be Unreal Engine 3. I'm not actually 100 percent sure which one it is. The uh, game doesn't state just, and the main menu just uh, um, just says Unreal Engine. But as you can see, the game looks pretty damn good overall. Um, there isn't. Okay, let's go in here. So the game does have a little bit of a story. As you can see that um, up there, uh, and the game's kind of story is fairly obtuse. It hasn't. It kind of doesn't really. There's no kind of voice acting or, or anything like that. It's kind of mostly explained just by kind of wall painting. So as you can see, there's us there with the cape on. There's also this king over here, and obviously there's the uh, the bird creature that's kind of chasing us. So the game basically just trying to we're kind of trying to uncover what's kind of going on. Um, the game kind of hints at the story, but hasn't quite hasn't, hasn't kind of explicitly kind of explained it yet so far. Yeah, so the, the story is fairly enjoyable. Like I said, I'm kind of intrigued as to where it's going to go and what's what, you know what's kind of uh, what's going to happen. Hopefully, the game kind of explains it as you go along. So yeah, so here, here we have to actually kind of go uh, get through that door. In the right amount of time. Hopefully, this will stay open long enough for us to get through. Oh, there we go. But everything about the game, everything about how the game looks, just is just you know, really, really nice. It isn't like uh, the game doesn't really have like you know crazy amounts of detail, but it is just really nice. Like uh, just like the colours and yeah, the way the kind of cape behind us kind of move, the physics on the cape here look really nice. How it kind of bobs up and down and. The character himself here actually like really animates really well as well. Um, uh, we haven't had a chance to show up, but when you they're just kind of subtle details like um, when you're kind of walking through shallow water, you will kind of wade through the water, and his animation will kind of change um, based on uh, you know the, him kind of walking through the water. And uh, the water as well actually looks really really nice. Uh, well, we could have showed it off down there actually, but it's too late now. It's actually, got a puzzle here of some sort. Oh, okay, so we have to. You want to go up? Um, so the planet's going to move based on uh, where we're stood. Oh, he's already facing that way, apparently. Now, there are markings on the ground, though. Okay, he's actually moving in. Um... How does this work? What's this over here? Does this do anything? Um... Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, so standing in front of this changes it to a something else, is it? And they're blocking this. Ah, actually, they're blocking that. Uh... We'll block that of our body. Well, that puts that down there. Um. Oh wait a second. If we yeah okay, so we can we can, we can do that and we can stand here. Can let's jump up. I guess there we go. So the puzzles in the game are fairly straightforward. They're not particularly challenging, but they are well made, I'd say. 
Um, let's go up here then. We have not really been stuck particularly for very long. In most of the puzzles are fairly straightforward, and any time you do get stuck on a puzzle, usually the solution will come to you fairly quickly, at least so far, based on my experience of the game so far. Uh, so we actually have to be a bit careful here. I think, if we stand out, I think if we stand out in the sun too long, he will kind of attack us and uh, and, and uh, kind of kill us, I suppose. But if you when, it, uh, when you die in the game, well, so far I've not actually died, but you you kind of fall off like a high ledge, and um, it will cause you to kind of lose progress, kind of, but not really. I mean, quite from what I can tell, there's no real kind of punishment for kind of dying or anything like that. You just might lose a little bit, uh, a little bit of progress. So you can pull this out of here, which you can use to jump on top of. Right, we let a lot of black stuff out of there. Which I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, to be honest. There we go, there we go, and we're over. Oh shit. Okay, well he can see us, but I thought if we stood in the shade of the be alright, I guess we need to... Oh, there we go. And well, he grabbed us. <laughs> yeah, so we died there, but obviously, as you can see, we didn't really lose any progress, really. Uh, the game's kind of challenge comes more just from um, you know solving the puzzles really. There's no combat in the game, from what I can tell, or anything like that. It's just kind of exploring and puzzle solving really. When I say exploring, the game is fairly linear, right, so I have to actually get a move on here. So I think these were ah, okay, I see, there we go. So that's going to create cover. So we break. We so I thought it was the shade that was covering us, but it's actually we need some sort of cover over the top of our head here. So there we go. We don't want to stand out in the open. Okay, well that's not great because that's where we came from. So let's head back, if we can. I don't think we can actually. I guess we just jump down, but there's another statue over there we can uh, shout. Use our shout on. Okay, so far the game is kind of very, it's a very guided experience this game. You will, um, even though the game has like these very large open areas, as you can see, like I so said, this area is, you know, if you look out here, it's a very kind of large open area, but the actual progression is very is um oh okay I think I see what to do here. So we have to actually I think we have to run across the top of those um platforms we created. I think yeah okay I see there we go. So they always the little um sometimes if you have to jump on a platform it'll kind of it'll have a little um a little white line it'll kind of indicate that you can uh, jump on a ledge and climb up. There we go, so there we go, get across here, hide over here, down here. Oh, and we can shout, quick, oh, you got us. But as you can see what I mean, the game is kind of fairly, fairly straightforward really. There's no um, particularly, it's not, it hasn't really been you know, particularly challenging really so far. That's not to say that I have uh, not enjoyed my time playing it though. Quick. There we go. Okay, got it in time that time. I have to pull this out now. Hey, there's, there's a tower there in the background that I was talking about. Ah, okay, so the sky's gone all grey now. A bit like the. Um... Oh, there you go. He got zapped. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's still going. So yeah, the, this, this thing's actually impeded our progress because we were going to make our way up the tower, but then we have to we have to solve a puzzle on the tower using a giant ball. But the bird kind of took the ball away. Uh, he stole it, and then uh, he kind of attacked us and knocked us down here. We have the tower, if we can t uh, see the tower is over there in the background. Although this, uh, that giant cloud has kind of uh, obscured it now, but there's a giant tower in the middle. Yeah, so we can get a good good view of it. Oh, there was the fox as well there, by the way. He kind of um, is a bit of a weird, weird companion, the fox, because he doesn't really... Oh, there's a tower there. But, uh, yeah, the cloud's kind of obscuring it now. Yeah, the fox is not is a bit of a kind of weird companion. Like, uh, I guess the game kind of wants it to be like, you know, the fox is kind of your buddy, and, yeah, yeah you, you kind of want to... 
you know, you kind of want to care for the fox, I guess, to a certain degree, but he's just kind of there in the background, and you occasionally see him, and he'll occasionally kind of give you, a, like, a hint of where to go, but he's kind of just not really that uh, that integral to the game so far, anyway. We've got these weird-looking uh, things here. Are these going to come after us, or are they just harmless? Oh, he's going to run away. Oh, ah, there you go, then. See ya. Alright, so where do you go now then? I guess we're going to head over to that other windmill, I guess. Uh, the game will soon kind of give us, let us know if we're going the wrong way. I'm, I assume we're going over here now. Yeah, because the cloud isn't covering this area over here, is it? No. Okay. To find a way across, though. There we go. Okay, so going down here now, by the looks of it. Now, honestly, there's not really. Oh, there we go. You see, he's, uh, he's still after us. There's honestly not a whole lot else to say really about the game here, really. I mean, uh, what you've seen so far is largely what the game has um, been so far, really. Kind of, um, you know, kind of making our way through. Through areas, solving the occasional puzzle. Oh, there's a gap there. Occasionally, there might be a little bit of climbing or platforming thrown in. But yes, this is um, largely what the game is, really. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, I'd say, so far. I've certainly enjoyed my time playing Rhyme so far. It just hasn't um, kind of grabbed me. You know, this game. Yeah, look at oh, okay. So you can actually break these pots by shouting on them. That's a good little collectible here. So you can collect these little shards here. All right, let's pick it up. So yeah, you can see we've collected. I actually missed two there. So it seems though they are based on your area. I'm not sure what happens if you when you should collect all of them. So I think each area of the game seems that has four of those to collect. But I'm not sure if there's any sort of reward for collecting them. Because yeah, in the first area, as you can see there, I got two out of the four, so I missed a couple. And as far, as far as I can tell, there's no way to kind of go back to areas that you've been to previously. Maybe it's possible, but from what I can tell, the game is kind of fairly... Yeah, the game is very guided. It's a very guided, um, guided experience. It wants you to just kind of plow on. There's no kind of there's no kind of open world to explore or anything like that. It is just, uh, you know, get on with the story and get with the puzzles and make your way through. All right, so... Kind of, uh, kind of in trouble here. We're going to get grabbed any second, by the looks of it. So that's probably not the way to go. What's over here? Oh, we have to go this way. Do we go this way? Yeah, yeah we go this way. But I think the problem with this game is that it, the reason why I'm kind of saying that it's, uh, you know, it's pretty good and not, you know, this game is amazing or you know, I love it. I think it's great. It's mostly just that the game is just kind of very... Isn't very challenging. It's just kind of a very laid-back experience and, uh, you know, very straightforward experience so far. I think if you're kind of looking for a you know, fairly laid-back puzzle game, which is, you know, fairly stress-free, this game will, will do the job nicely. You know, everything about the game is just kind of really well done. The, um... The game, I'd actually say, it's kind of expertly crafted, really. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, I can tell that the developers of this game really put a lot of work and effort into this into this title, and I think you'd, um, I'd kind of hope so. The last thing is, it's taken quite a long time for this game to finally materialise, you know. But despite all that, it just isn't really, you know, particularly challenging or interesting experience. You know, it is just, uh, it's very simple. Right, let's jump over here. I'm not really, you know, engaged in the... I'm not massively engaged in the kind of story of the characters so far. Although I am, I am intrigued to see where it goes. But, you know, I'm not really in love with uh, you know, the character here and the fox and the and the world so far, you know. It's good, but it just isn't, you know, like, uh, blowing my mind. Right, so where do we go now? Probably not that way. 
Probably down here. Yeah, okay, we can go this way now. Okay, I think we go, there we go. Um, do we go up anymore? Do we go... Do we go up here, do we? Yep, yeah, there we go. So yeah, once you... The climbing is fairly... It's usually fairly obvious which way you have to go. And it's kind of fairly standard, kind of, uh, you know... Uncharted kind of style. Kind of climbing around and stuff. Let's go and just take cover down here, I guess. Oh, let's try and find the next puzzle, I guess. Probably, probably going to be this here, is it? We've got something here to do. Oh no, just more climbing. Oh, there we go. He hasn't seen this though, luckily. Let's climb up, mate. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't too bad though, that little section there. I mean, you can see, you can kind of see what I mean though about the game being, you know, not being challenging, you know. It's just, uh, you know, getting through that section wasn't really difficult, you know. It, wasn't, it just didn't feel like intense, you know, like um, a section like this where being chased, you know, it should kind of have like an, you know, like an intense feeling of like, uh, you know, we, like we only just made it or I can't believe we kind of um, got away there, but the game just doesn't really have that kind of impact on me, you know. It just kind of feels a little bit flat at times, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean here about the game. Um, you can see how he kind of animates a bit different here, walking through this kind of shallow water. He animates a bit, his uh, walking animation changes a bit, which is quite nicely done, I think. So we've got some sort of puzzle here. Alright, so what do we do here then? Shouldn't be too difficult to solve, I, dem I can't imagine. Ah, so it's another puzzle based on um, covering these things up by the looks of it. What's this? Oh, okay, so you can just shout. Just shout there. There's a sh um, there's just be... There's something nearby. Ah, it's up there. Okay. Alright, so how do we get up there? I'm going to have a weird um, performance issues here. So, ah, so I think we can climb on top of this, can we? Yeah, the frame rate's dropping here for some reason. Don't really know why. The game has actually um, performed really, really solidly so far. Like, uh, I've not had any trouble. The game's running at you know solid sixty so far, but uh, getting frame drops in this particular room for some reason, which is a bit odd. Let's see what we have to me shout on this statue over here then. Oh, hello. Okay, so uh, we have to block that somehow, by the looks of it. What if we move this round? Oh, we can't get up there if we do that. Um, hmm. If for some reason turning that, turning this is dropping the frame rate, standing here looking, looking here is dropping the frame rate down to uh, 40. Some reason I don't know why. Cause there's not really much to, uh, not a complex scene to render exactly. But the game mostly runs at six frames a second uh, on a GTX 1070, so no performance issues at least. That's something. To, that's something that's uh, pretty good, apart from in this room particularly. Okay, so how do we get past this thing then? I guess we could drop down and just kind of shimmy across like this. Although I'm not sure that's going to work. He's probably gonna. I don't think he's stupid. This thing is he? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, huh, I guess that works. Well, a dumbass. Unless he's gonna. Uh... Yeah, he's not the smartest, is he? Oh, there you go. We got cross anyway. 
Now let's do this uh, shout on this, see what happens. Okay. Um. Okay, so I guess we can. Uh, I guess I have to run across the top of the mast here. Need to cover all four of those. That should do the job. There we go. Yeah, like I said, you can see here the puzzles are yeah you know, they're well done. They're just not particularly challenging, really. Oh, hello. Well, that didn't work. I have to cover all four of them though. Um, hmm. Uh, can we actually run across the top of it? No, can, can't really. No, the uh, handhold dropped off. Okay. That's complicating things a little bit. So, what if we uncover this one over here? I guess we can run back across there, can't we? Um, we could try that. Uh, that uh, I guess that works, I guess. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay. I'm going to wait out there. Yeah, you mean... Uh, oh, God. Run. <laughs> Yeah, but the puzzles in the game are well designed. Just uh, they're just not really particularly difficult to solve so far. And like I said, I've made. Uh, I'm not sure how long this game actually. I'm not sure how long the game is. Uh, like I said, the game's price tag would suggest the game's probably fairly considerable and um, fairly considerable in length. But I'm not sure if it's massively long. You know, I mean, uh, at a guess, uh, the game's probably maybe five to six hours at a guess. Probably around six hours. So, I mean, unless the puzzles get considerably, um, considerably more difficult later on, you're not really going to be particularly challenged playing this game, really. Oh! Uh, there is just a... Ooh, is he out there? That thing. Ooh. He's probably going to burst through there, isn't he? Yeah, what a surprise. So we'll, we'll play through this section here, and then, uh, I don't want to do that. I want to jump across, please. There we go. Ah! Bulls. We can climb up this net, though, now, at least. Alright, what do you do here, then? There's a net here to climb up. I guess we've climbed the net, I guess. Right, go up the net, please. There we go. He's going to bully press through here now, isn't he, I expect? Knock us off. <clears throat> oh, no. Ah! Well, he helped us out, so can't really complain too much. Pull this out and create another little. Uh, create the next storm cloud, I guess. Yes, there was one, there was one on the other side though as well, wasn't there? I believe. Oh, cause I have to. Use, I guess we use the uh, block to climb up there. I guess, yeah. I think the more I play this game, the less I'm kind of impressed with it. Though I think because um, you know now that I've played now that after playing playing for the opening section, I was you know, having a pretty reasonable lot of fun with the game. Uh, now we kind of move on to this section. Um, I'm still enjoying the game, of course, but uh, you know we are largely repeating ourselves here a little bit. The game isn't really. Uh, Introducing too many kind of new new elements here so far. We are largely doing 
similar things you were doing um, during the opening kind of hour and a half or so here. How would you go here then? I guess we go over here. Can we make that jump? Oh, um, looks a bit far to be honest, but there's nowhere else for us to go at the moment. Nowhere to climb up. Oh, oh we made it. Ooh. Yeah, jump across there. Nice. There we go. Nice. The the oh, no. Okay, jump across there. Oh, I want to jump across, please. There we go. All right, so that should uh, do the job. So where do you go now? Uh, where else did you go back down? Presumably we can just jump over here, I guess. Oh, there we go. Nice. Ah, uh, okay. well, we survived. So yeah, if you sometimes, you, sometimes if you drop too far, you will. Well, you you'll die. But like I said, there's no real consequence for it really. So you, if you. You can just jump off a high place and just kind of hope for the best, really. Okay, so we can just jump off here. You'll probably survive, yeah, but if you don't, it's not really a big deal. So you'll probably just go back to the top of the ledge anyway, so that is the fox. Let's follow him. Okay, so to go to this third one. So yeah, I'm guessing we're going to um, do this third one. That will uh, do the job, I suppose. We go in here, I guess. Well, yeah, I suppose, yeah, we go in here, don't we? But you can see what I mean there now about the game being a fairly guided experience. Uh, you know, we are largely just kind of following this fox around, and uh, well, it's mostly uh, you know there isn't really any real exploration, anything like that. Yeah, there isn't really, you know, there isn't really a ton to talk about now. We are going to, I would, you know, play for this section and uh, just, just to show it off. But um, you know, I could wrap up the video here quite, quite uh, easily and, you know, call it, call it here and just say, you know, it's a pretty good little puzzle game, but nothing special outside of the, outside of the way it looks. I think that's largely kind of what I feel, how I feel about the game, to be honest. All right, so I guess we're going to dive down here, I guess. There is swimming in the game. Right, let's dive down. Yeah, the water in particular does look really, really nice. Especially the, uh, you know, the, the way the water kind of ripples and... Uh, the way the water ripples and uh, it just kind of, it just kind of has a... Has a slight kind of cartoon look to it, but also a fairly realistic look as well. The water, it looks nice. The water. Don't know why I'm talking about the water. As if it's something really important to talk about. There you go. Alright, so to we're going to get grabbed here. So where do we go? Where can we hide? Yeah, we can hide in one of these broken boats, I guess. Oh, hide under this bit here, I guess. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, so... Uh, I'm not quite sure where to go now. I guess we could go along here, I guess. Let's see, there's something around here. Uh, 
there's a beach over here, but we're not going to make it. Um, am I missing something here? Something seems slightly off. Usually, if you if you get stuck or something's not quite right, usually you've missed something. Uh, I think we've missed we've missed something here because oh, it keeps grabbing us. I mean, presumably we go over here, but there is shelter shout over there in the water over there. But we're not going to make it over there without a boat. Let's do. Let's just run for it and see if we can. It's not that there's boats in the way. Uh, um. Huh. Oh, wait a second, we could, um, I just realised. <laughs> we can uh, dive into the water, can't we, I suppose? Yeah, of course. That was, uh... <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that was mostly my fault there. So I have to come up for air. There we go, okay. That was pretty dumb on my part, I'll, uh, in all fairness. That was uh, not the smartest of me. No, let's go over here. We'll clear for this section and we'll uh that'll be the end of the video I think. Let's go for air. Although these um I'm guessing these are air bubbles down here that we can breathe by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, we're drowning. We made it over here, but uh, can't go go up this way. So we have to do something under the water, by the looks of it. Um, okay, let's have a look around so you can find what to, find out what to do. Well, the uh, the little fox can help us down here, annoyingly. Yeah, normally, the fox would kind of tell you where to go if you get stuck. And it seems that we found the right way, I guess. Okay, this looks like the right way. Ah, a key, by the looks of it. We just climb up here, no? There we go. Oh, okay, climb up there. Yeah, I do get the feeling that, uh, you know, Ryan, he kind of wants to be this... You know, wants to be this epic adventure kind of thing, you know, kind of like, uh, kind of like the kind of classics, like, you know, Ico and Shadow of the Colossus and kind of games like that, you know, kind of wants to be, you know, kind of epic and, you know, kind of like this epic adventure, like, uh, I suppose that Legend of Zelda being ever a good example, but it just doesn't really have the, you know, it doesn't really kind of have the, the impact, just because the game, so we do this key then, let me get out of here. I guess we go back the way we came, I guess. But if you look at like the you know, like the Legend of Zelda, that game kinda of backs it up with their, you know, incredible just incredible kind of you know, game design in terms of its you know, its puzzles and its kind of dungeon design and kind of stuff like that. This game doesn't really have that, you know, it is just kinda of fairly It's just too it's just too kinda of simple to kinda of have that kind of impact, you know. You just didn't got a kind of fairly standard kind of video gamey kind of things in this game, and well, that's fine. It is. It does make for a you know pretty decent little adventure here, but you know, I haven't been massively impressed with what uh, what this game has to offer. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm I do like it though. I think the main sticking point is probably the uh, so the price point. I think in the United States, 
I think thirty dollars is a pretty reasonable price. Probably you have to go over here, presumably. I think thirty dollars is, is reasonable, but I think thirty pounds is maybe a bit steep for what's on offer here. I think. So like I said, thirty pounds is like almost up to like a triple A release on Steam. Uh, I hope there's some air down here. Ah, there we go. I mean, not even the yeah, not even the game soundtrack is really all that incredible. It is pretty decent. There is kind of fairly uh, a fairly good little kind of orchestral kind of score going on, but it isn't really like yeah, really all that memorable or mind blowing, really. Right, here's, here's the other key that we need, I guess. Alright, so does this want to come up where I want to? Okay, so if, okay, so if we shout over here, it should uh, it shouts where we where in our position? So there we go, there we go. Try to make that jump. There we go. Nice. Take that key, and then we have to find the door to uh, to open that with the key. So. So presumably it's in the the first area where we went, presumably. I think as well with this game, I could see myself maybe growing tired of it by the end. Like if this is mostly you know, solving these puzzles and you know, making my way through this game. The more I play it, the less I'm kind of enthusiastic about it, I think. So and yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, I think we're in kind of like the second of, I guess, five areas, I suppose, based on the collectibles. So, uh, there's some air at least. So I could see myself by the end, unless the game kind of introduces kind of new elements or, you know, some interesting new kind of puzzles or something. I could see myself, you know, maybe getting a little bit tired of it by the end, I think. Obviously, this isn't a... Uh... Oh, you just went around in a big circle. <laughs> So there must be somewhere to put the keys in there somewhere. Let's get some air. Uh, do they go in here? Nope. Come on, get the air. There we go. Ah, there's a uh, there's a thing up here. Okay. Jump out. There we go. Okay, we found where we need to go. So we're getting close to the end of the section now, by the looks of it. Presumably, this will be the last kind of windmill we have to uh, take care of. We can get the, the, the uh, ball back and carry our, our adventure up the tower in the middle. Hopefully, because I've largely run out of things to say really on this game. I'm mostly just waiting to. And I could end it here, but I just wanted to just clear this section, just uh, just for the sake of it, really. I, wanted, I like uh, you know giving games a good a good show on this on this channel, so uh, you know, we'll give it a good uh, a good session here. Right, so what do we do here then? So we can these are large balls here. They kind of amplify your shout. So if you shout on top of this on this thing, it will. Uh, You'll send out like a further distance, as you can see there. But, uh... Okay, so what do we actually do here? We've got this thing to move around. Um, also, you can block these, obviously. Okay, what does that? Okay, so I guess we have to block each one of. Can we move these statues? Um, 
Yeah, let's actually get me moved. So you have to uh, block each all, um, each of those suns in order to expose the statue so we can shout, basically. That's what we have to do here. Ah, okay, so you have to base it. Ah, okay, I see what to do. You have to move this into the right position to block... Uh, the right position, which it's the right position to place this, or which will block all three of uh, these things. So that blocks that one. I'll block that one. Block that one, put it there. Um, it may take a little while to figure this one out, but we should get there with a bit of trial and error. Probably going to be somewhere near the outside, isn't it, of the of the room? But yeah, that's two blocked. We need to block that one as well. Oh, but I can block that one with my body. Oh, then we can't shout, can we? Okay. Um, I've got a feeling it might be this one over here, maybe. Um, put that. Uh, let's see. Actually, fairly close there because there's a light source going off the top of it, isn't there? I've got a feeling it's around here somewhere for some reason. We we'll blocked that one. Yeah, this is going to take a little while to, to get in the right position here. Okay. Um. Well, that works on two of them. What if I. Ah, I think I got it. Okay, so let's sort of block that one there. Let's block on that one. What if I move the same a little bit this way? Oh. Um. Oh, that works. Yeah, the ball in the uh, ball in the middle is actually blocking this last one. Well, that works. I'm not sure if that was the right solution, though. But there you go. Yeah, like I said, you can, as you can see, a pretty decently made puzzle, just not, you know, all that difficult to solve, really. All right, well, let's. Uh, these are actually. This is actually a, a repeat of a puzzle from the first section. This one. This is actually. Uh, okay, so I have to actually get another piece here. So uh, there are quite a few of these puzzles in the first section where you have to kind of line up um, pieces in order to create a door. Like there's a outline of a door, and you have to kind of line up. Uh, oh shit! What about this thing here? And so yes, yeah, so if you want to create a door here, you have to line up that uh, little circle there. Ah, it's actually a uh, thing to block there as well. Right, let's just uh, run out here. Nope, no, it's not going that way. Guess we're going the other way, I guess. Uh, it's quite annoying sometimes where you, sometimes you won't kind of jump up a rock like that sometimes, which is a bit of a pain. Like, so it looked like we could, you know, jump up on that rock, but you wouldn't kind of go up there, which is a bit, a bit annoying. Uh, nope, didn't want to go up there. Oh, I think there was just something to climb up there, I think. Yeah, we climbed up there. Okay, I missed that there. Okay. Get us out of time? No. No, we're safe here. There's a thing here. Okay. We've got 
got that one. And it's one on the other side as well, somewhere. Uh, how do we get across the other side? Oh, shit. You could run, run around the edge, I guess, but uh, no, it's not going to work, I don't think. Um, ah, ah, yeah, of course. We can move this in, into here now. Yeah, the the kind of enjoyment of the first of the first section has kind of worn off a little bit now, and it has kind of turned into not really monotony, but just kind of we're kind of in a familiar pattern now of, of kind of a, you know a gameplay loop of the gameplay loop of the game is kind of settled in quite nicely now, and we are kind of largely repeating it, which is fine. Um. Okay, I have to go there. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's created that now. Climb up. There we go. Um. Ah, so to, okay, so you can block the block that with the statue now. It's gonna open the door to this side, is it? Oh, it's just making more water. Okay, fair enough. Gotta just dive down now, though, to get away. Uh, not going that way. Yeah, I think we. I think we might just. Um, we're going to wrap up soon now on uh, on Ryan here. So we have been going for almost an hour now. So once we, once I sort out this last little bit, we should be at the end of this section, I think. Oh, oh. Okay, that's not the right way. I don't think. Uh, we've got this water, but what, we, what do we actually do now we've got this water out here? So I thought we were going to climb up here, I guess, but he doesn't want to climb up this little section here. Ah, uh, uh, oh, of course, we can use the water to get up the steps now, can't we? Alright, there we go. So let's quickly take cover. There we go. Okay, let's just pull this out. And that's gonna. Should, this should be. I think this is the last one now, the last kind of windmill. I couldn't see any other ones to do. You should get zapped the fuck out of here now. I guess we're going over there now. Ah, push the push over here. There we go. Yeah, we am going to wrap up now, more or less. I think. See, so yeah, that's uh, that's rhyme by Tequila Works. Let's go down here. Honestly. It is good. Um, this is a, this is a pretty pretty good puzzle slash adventure kind of game. It's not. Um, it could have been a great one. It certainly is close to greatness. It just isn't really lacking that kind of special factor. And like I said, I think that is largely due to the game's um, kind of lack of. I suppose a lack of originality to a certain degree and just kind of lack of challenge, I suppose, probably be the best way to describe it. Uh, it's certainly a impressive production in many ways, you know, like I said, the you know, the way the game looks and just the way the game is, the game's just kind of crafted you know, in, a, in an expert way. It certainly is a very well made game, this one, but it just doesn't really have that, you know, like I said, that wow factor or 
that kind of special factor. You know, like I said, more oh, more interesting, interesting and you know unique puzzle design would take the would you know help the game a lot, as well as you know game the game having more challenging you know being a more challenging puzzle game as well would also help the game a long way I think because as well as well um, as well made as the game is it is largely fairly derivative I suppose. It is doing largely what uh, what you've done in many other games of this ilk, I suppose. It's probably the best way to describe it. It's delivered in a you know in an expertly made package, and you know so the game does look really really good in the visual department as well. And there's very little to really complain about. It just doesn't really you know I'm just not really impressed by it. I'm not you know I'm not dying to to, pl to keep playing it. I'm not in love with it, basically, but it is really, it is quite good. You can't really, I can't really say you don't buy this game. I think it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, it's definitely worth buying and playing. I think. Um, you know, it, it's certainly for a certain type of player as well. Like I said, it is a fairly laid back experience. It's not a. Uh, this isn't a game you should pick up if you're looking for a action-packed experience, or yeah, you, know, you want something which is uh, which is really particularly taxing in any way. But if you don't mind a kind of fairly laid-back, enjoyable puzzle adventure, this will do the job nicely, I think. Right, so what's this here? I guess to pick this up. We got that. I guess it's a collectible. I guess. Not sure where we actually where we have to go now. I'm not sure actually. Let's try and find out where the wolf's gone. Well, well we we'll have to go back up there. That's where the um, where all those people are stood. That's where the bird kind of took our our ball that we need to progress. So to find a way back up there. Of course, now we've clouded the whole place in uh, in all this cloud. We can get back up there, I guess. Not sure how we do that though. Um Hmm. Yeah, so the game doesn't always do a great job of directing in uh, sending in the in the right direction. Uh, I'm a little bit lost now. Um, let's see if I can get up there somehow. <laughs> oh, this way, I guess. But once you get lost, you usually can find your way f back to where you need to go fairly quickly, usually. So I'll grab this ball, and then I'll uh, that'll be the end of the video, I think. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I think the games worth checking out. I think in the, especially in the, um, if you live in, the, in America, I think thirty dollars is a reasonable, reasonable price for this game. I think in the UK at thirty pounds, maybe wait for a little discount. Maybe um, I think twenty five. I think you know twenty would be more than enough. Twenty uh, twenty pounds would be more than enough for uh, for this. I think. I think thirty is a little bit steep, personally. Ah, no, I don't want to do that. I think I need to drop down there, I think. Alright. Yeah, just more variety would do this game a lot of good as well. Like I said, um, We are largely uh, kind of repeating ourselves a bit. A little bit. Let's get up here. Oh, there he is. Well, you sorted him out. You're not going to be bothering us again by the looks of it.
least faster in our way. Oh. Well, there we go. Yeah, here's the tower. Oh, still being blocked by the clouds. Oh, shit. He's uh, still after us. Doesn't want to give up, does he? I don't know what we did to him to piss him off so much. You know, I didn't do anything to him, but uh, he certainly was determined to stop us. And I guess because he wanted this this big shiny golden ball, and we uh, and uh, we wanted it as well. I guess is the reason why he why he was so mad at us. All right, so um, this is actually quite cool. So when you move this ball, um, you have to actually solve puzzles um, based on uh, moving this ball will change the time of day, and obviously there are puzzles based on uh, somewhat based on um, the time of day. So if you make it night time. We have, to, yeah, we have to stand here, obviously. There was a statue that has been knocked down. I'll just do this little. I'll do this little puzzle here, and that'll be the. Uh, we'll wrap up then. Yeah, just stand on here. But the ball needs to be in the right place as well. Um Oh there we go. That, that goes there. So we need to get we need to get the shadow in the on the we need to get the shadow from the statue to project onto the wall in the right spot, so there we go. That wasn't the right place. So if we stand there it should open the door. There we go. That's that section of the game done, I guess. We're on to the next one. But uh, I'm not gonna do that for this video because we've been going for over an hour, so I think that will I'll do it for Rhyme, I think. Yeah, that's uh, that's Rhyme by Tequila Works on Steam now for thirty dollars, thirty pounds. I think it's thirty-five euros as well. Honestly, it is it is a good game. This I've had a pretty decent amount of uh, I've got a pretty decent amount of enjoyment from playing it, playing through it. But it just doesn't really have that wow factor, despite despite the game's kind of. Um, Despite this game not really having any particular problems, and it actually being quite excellent in many ways, like I said, the, you know, the game's visuals, we've gone over it all, oh, the game looks great and it you know, controls really well and sounds really good and all that and all that, blah 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 blah. And um, just in terms of an actual game itself, it is just decent. As a puzzle game slash adventure game, it, it is just pretty decent, fairly run of the mill, um, but it's good. Um, that's kind of really all I can really say about it, to be honest. Um, but it's worth checking out. I think, uh, like I said, I think the only real sticking point is the the price in the UK. I think is a bit steep, but uh, thirty dollars is reasonable. And uh, I think that'll do it for Rhyme. So yeah, I've been uh, I've been Jacob. This has been a uh, look at Rhyme. You can leave me a like, comment, dislike, subscribe. You can do all that bullshit that people say. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye for now. Bye.